Hi ho folks and welcome back to another adventure of Turwinkle the Gnome Mage. Well hi Turwinkle. Salutations. Are you all set for tonight? Indubitably. You bet, because tonight as you can see we are in Ironforge and we're going to be talking with Nolman Graysteel, an old dwarf, an old dwarf warrior, and we're going to find out all about his wonderful RP. So without further ado, let's go and find him, shall we? All right, so we're looking for no. Up oh, there he is, folks. It's Nolman Gray Steel, and let's walk up here, shall we? Hello, sir. Hello. It's good to meet you. You as well, Terry. <laughs> All right, so folks, we have Nolman Gray Steel here, nickname Old Noel. He's new blood of House Hathen. And that means you just joined them, is that not correct, sir? That is correct. I've been with them for almost a week now. Oh, excellent. And he's a level 61 wild hammered dwarf warrior, and currently wandering and pondering, using the staff as a cane. So in your other outfit you have a staff, then, I, I assume. Yes, this, um, I go between civvy clothes and my uniform, which I have on now. Okay. Usually when I am not out fighting, I'm in my civvy clothes. Well, excellent. Excellent. So, folks, we've found Nolman, and so when we come back, we're going to start asking Nolman some questions. And we're back with Nolman. So, the first question we always ask is... How did you come up with the name Nolman Graysteel? Did you get it out of a book, uh, a movie, or something that you've uh, seen or heard before? To be honest on that one, it was a random name that came in my mind because I have a hard time coming up with names and I was pulling stuff from everywhere, from books, movies, Viking lore, anything I could think of, and out of nowhere, I, I was saying the word no man, because for some reason I just was, then I'm like, hmm, let's put an L in the middle of that, and it fit perfectly. Okay, so your nickname is Old Noel, and w where did you get the nickname? The nickname came from... Oh, I'm a dwarf named Lorcan back when I was in the guild Thunderwing Clan. Because it was the two of us that played uh, elderly dwarves, and it just, it was just easier because it seemed a lot of people had a hard time typing my name. Oh, okay. So, excellent. All right, folks. Well, when we get back... We're going to dig a little deeper into who Nolman Graysteel is. So uh, we'll see you folks on the other side. All right, and we're back. So, Nolman, what can you tell us about your tune? What is he about? Well, Nolman Graysteel was a dwarf born and raised here in Iron Forge and the small town of Karanos. Um, he drew, bleh, grew up the normal life of a dwarf or once of age. He started his training as a warrior with his father. Then soon after he be joined in service with Ironforge and soon the Alliance. Now at roughly the age of 385 Holy he smokes. is retired. Oh yeah. He's now retired, has served in all three of the Great Wars, and most of everything else in, be in between besides recent Pandaria, and only part of the battles uh, against the Lich, the Lich King, when he was finally forced into retirement because of his bad knee. Oh, okay. And is that why he uses the uh, staff as a cane? Yep, that is exactly why. All right, so you just joined House Hathen on Wormrest Accord. Now, we had met on Moonguard, 
uh, with my other t uh, tune, Tanninus, over there. And uh, you came over to Wormrest Accord. In fact, I think you came before I did over to Wormrest. And uh, you found House Hathen. What made you choose House Hathen as a place to go and RP with? Well, in truth, for one, I got really close with Lady Mary, just both RP Lee and OOC Lee. And in general, not many guilds are accepting of older characters, or at least the style of them that I play. Because Nolman does fight, but. I re, re restrict him more than what more the usual guilds are willing. Oh sure. And with House Haven, I am able to play my character not just as a warrior, but as the elderly man that jokes around and has fun. It's not all serious. Sure, and so do they use you more as an advisor in uh, their RP than a fighter? Yes, in a sense. Um, I'm. They look to me, f look to well my character, for insight. Um, and at times I'm just there to make everyone laugh, and to bug people because that's how Noman is. <laughs> He's old enough; he don't care no more. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. All right, folks, we'll come back. We'll ask some more questions. We'll be right back. All righty, we're back. So, Nolman, you like to play an elderly character. What made you decide to play someone that's elderly and maybe in retirement and not out there hacking and slashing so much? Well, to be honest, for one, there's plenty of those out there. And two, I find it more of a challenge, and and at times a lot more fun to play a character that is more re restricted in a sense to where you have to be more creative in what you you do. And in truth, you don't see many people playing elderly characters, or at least as old as I make mine. And it just it brings a fresh per perspective to the RP co community, and it just makes a difference. Yeah, I, you know, besides I, that, I really wouldn't know what to tell you. <laughs> right, and uh, what I love about your character, and again, I've RP'd with you before on a different tune, on a different server, and what we. I enjoyed so much was that exact RP it was just the elderly RP we'd be sitting at a in, in the uh, blue recluse uh, just chatting away and we'd look over and you're pardon me you're asleep at the table and uh, <laughs> so you know it it was a lot of fun and uh, I think it's it's an interesting way to RP because like you said not a whole lot of people do, uh, you know, RP and more elderly type of, of character. Now, are you, are, are you afraid that he will ever get too old to where he just passes away? Or is that more of an easy out in some ways? If, if you're, tired of the, uh, you're tired of the RP, you could just uh, say he just is finally passed on. Well, in truth, that's almost as like a double-edged sword, you could say. Because on one end of it, yes, it's an easy way to end the character and, in truth, just move on to a new one. But on the flip side of it, it is hard to tra to move from, an, from, you know, from a character you've RP'd for years almost to a whole new one. And I won't deny, I tried doing that with a different character, and I missed my old one within days. <laughs> so, I guess it just matters <laughs> matters how, you, how strongly you feel about the character you may or may not leave behind. Sure, sure. Well, wonderful. So, folks, when we come back, we're going to talk to Nolman and find out a little bit about the person behind the screen and uh, see what we can find out there. So we'll be right back. And we're back. So, Nolman, what can you tell us about 
you, the person behind the screen. Well, that's an interesting question, but, um, to be honest, I'm usually a very laid-back person, open to many ideas of RP and just activities in general. I'm usually not that hard to get to get along with, and, well, not really a lot to, to tell there, Mr. Terwinkle. <laughs> okay. Well, you're not 385 years old, I, I assume. Uh... Oh no. <laughs> uh, so, what? Well, what characteristics do you think you share with Nolman? Well, that's a good, actually, a real good question. Um, <laughs> a few characteristics I've noticed that I share with him is that I've been told, for one, I do have what people call an old soul. Okay. So I guess that's another reason why I do like playing more older style characters. Um, one other thing I found out that we share in common is that we're both blunt and right to the point almost all of the, the time. There's hardly a moment where I'm hiding behind the bush, so to speak. <laughs> okay. Well, in what ways do you think you're different from Nolman? Well... The difference in will be one, he's a heck of a lot older than I am, <laughs> for one. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the other things that are different is that even though I am blunt, even to in my own perspective, I'm not as blunt as Nolman. Nolman will say almost anything and not have a grudge about it, where me... There are times where when I, when I do slip up, I do feel bad about it, where Nolman just won't care. Oh, okay. So how long have you been RPing? How how long have you been RPing in uh, World of Warcraft? In just World of Warcraft in general, I am at least seven plus years. Oh, okay. And how did you get started RPing in, in uh, WoW? Well, that's a real funny one because. Truthfully, I never even knew there was RP on World of Warcraft. I found out about RP on World of Warcraft off of another browser-based RP thing I used to do with a couple of friends. Oh. And I made a couple mm -hmm. friends on there, and finally one of them told me, going, wait, you play World of Warcraft, right? I'm like, yeah. He goes, you want any roleplay servers? I'm like, wait, what? You're kidding. He's like, no. I'm like... No, but I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> and so you started. So what was your first server that you uh, RP'd on? Well, the first one would actually be Moon. Moonguard? M Moonguard. Yep, Moonguard was my first one. It's my, I guess you can still say my pride and joy where I got started. I started my RPing on WoW. Um, I started with a two named Rodden. Stone Fist, another Dwarf Paladin, uh, he's still actually around on Moonguard, I still get on him every once in a while, he's level 82 now, oh, okay, and he's also another eld elderly Dwarf, that I play when I do have to fight with him, he uses the light instead of physical contact like how Nolan does. Oh, okay. So... What other RPs, or other RP games have you have you played? Do you do any tabletop or any other MMOs, or anything like that? Most of my RP experience has been through MMOs. I've been wanting to do tabletop, but there's no one where I live that does it, or enough of us to actually get a group started. Okay, so what so, a, what other MMOs do the, you do? I do Lord of the Rings Online. Um, actually, that's the main other one I role I role play on now. Um, just MMOs in general. It'd be Planet Side Two. Soon it'll be Eve Online because I have family members who play that that want me to get playing on it again. Um, and Diablo Three. A lot of games to be honest. There's really too many to count. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Well, wonderful. So, folks, we'll be right back, and we'll talk a little bit about the differences between uh, WoW RP and maybe some of those other 
uh, MMOs that he mentioned. So we'll be right back with those questions. All right, folks, and we're back. So, Nolman, what differences do you find between, say, the Lord of the Rings uh, roleplay and roleplay here on World of Warcraft? I won't won't deny. Um, The main difference I can tell is, one, how how the different classes and characters are role-played as since they are considered from two different areas of uh, fantasy. It makes it a bit more interesting and I do have to adjust every time I switch between them. But um, the other thing is too, um, like say on WoW, where I lived almost, George lived almost 400 to, I think it was a max of 450 years of age, on Lord of the Rings, 250 to 300 is pushing it. Oh, okay. Um, so, you have to learn to adjust, And but to be honest, besides that, the only other difference I could tell is that the size of the co- co- like community that ro- role plays on each, on each game. I can find a lot more people on WoW than I can on Lord of the Rings, but at times... I can find RP easier on Lord of the Rings than on WoW. So, it's a kind of flip-flop thing, so so to speak. Oh, okay. Do you find there's as many tools uh, to use in role-playing in uh, the Lord of the Rings as there are in WoW? Are there as many emotes and that sort of thing? I would believe so, yes. Actually, in truth, I kind of wish WoW had more of the emote style Lord of the Rings had. Because when you type slash smoke as if you're smoking a pipe, your character actually pulls out a pipe and smokes it. Instead of just a little emote being read on your chat like in WoW. Oh, okay. Alright. So... So there's a little differences like that, but truthfully, I would say they are about equal. Okay, well, excellent. Well, wonderful. So, folks, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, Nolman's RP experience and maybe some advice that he could give to new and maybe some experienced RPers as well. So we'll be right back with that. All right, and we're back. So, Nolman, what would you, what advice would you give someone that's maybe looking at this episode and saying, hey, that sounds like a fun idea, this RPing thing. How do I get started? Well, I would personally say, for, say if you're just starting out for RPing, I would highly recommend getting to know the lore or story behind the actual game. Get to, I'm not saying you have to master it, but at least get to know the basics of it. What's going on, what has happened, and before creating the character, actually take time like in a notepad or something, at least that's what I did, to actually write out what the character is going to be. Like, it's... It, their background story, what they have or have not done, what they're going to look like, everything, the full nine yards. Take your time with it. Don't rush. Oh, okay. And so would you say just start doing some walk-up RPs, or would you suggest going to find a guild first? How should they uh, dive into RP? Well, if they want to just dive in like that, or just in general, just getting started on the actual game once they they feel comfortable with it, I would say start doing random stuff at first. Try to find ways to put yourself into RP, but w- without being rude rude about it either. Be polite and all that nice n- n- nice jazz. If you're really unsure about trying to jump into an RP, just nicely whisper, whisper the person, ask them about it. But truthfully, there's hardly, hardly a person I've found on here that will not, at least in some way, shape, or form, tell you whether or not it's okay for you to jump in or not. Okay. Well, looks like we've had some people running by there, so... <laughs> uh, the gnome with the little chicken there, that was funny. 
All right. Well, excellent advice. I, yeah, I think walk-up RPs are a lot of fun, and what they do is they almost force you to become a little more creative than if you were in a set guild, because you're having to come up with different RPs on the fly uh, when you're dealing with different people. So if you're not dealing with the same people over and over again, and you're coming up and you're you're introducing yourself into some different RPs, I think that really does stretch your RP uh, skills a little bit, don't you? Very much so. And also, there is one thing to take into consideration when looking for a, for a guild to RP with. One, you need to somewhat know what you're what you're looking for. Don't just go in there blind, blindly, so to speak. Um, and also, they most guilds do recommend a little bit a bit of practice. That's why I do recommend doing the walk ups first. Because most skills out there, unless they're just starting out and are willing to help, they prefer, like like I said, they just prefer someone with a little bit bit of practice and at least know a little bit of what they're they're doing. Like I said, you don't you don't have to know everything about it, but just enough to get past what you're trying to do. Alrighty, well, excellent advice, sir. So we will be right back and we'll talk a little bit more. And we're back. So, what can you tell us about Nolan that we haven't asked? Hmm. That's a good question. Well, besides, like you asked earlier, what does he do for the guild? I also am considered one of the healers, I guess you could say. I, Nolan dabbles in healing potions and just strange potions in general in general at times and his what we like to call Nolman's bag of goodies okay <laughs> so so explain Nolman's bag of goodies Nolman's bag of goodies is something that Nolman carries around with him every once in a while and gets out when he is it is needed to perform some sort of met medical problem usually and within these bag of goodies or this bag of goodies it can be a random things that he pulls out at times but usually in the end of him digging he finds what he needs one moment it could be an elixir of growth another moment a powder of some sort that may or may not you like explode at any moment <laughs> Then on the other hand, it, it could be just a bottle of nicely fine ale that he forgot he put in there and <laughs> saved it for him later. Now, now, Nolman is an elderly character, so <laughs> is he forgetful sometimes? Oh, yes, he's very forgetful at times. And some of my, my favorite memories of Nolman is him literally walking... Now, I'm going to say this one, it'll get me in trouble most likely, but it's alright, I, I can handle it. A couple of days ago, the, la the, the lady and sire of House Heathen was in their house, upstairs, having their alone time. Okay. And, well, let's just say Nolman, Nolman walked in not even thinking about it, and let's just say he got in trouble. <laughs> and then, not even... Two days after that, he does it again because he totally forgets that he was in trouble for it two, two like, days ago. Okay. <laughs> and how, how is Norman's uh, eyesight? Norman's eyesight is not perfect. He does have glasses, but he only needs them when he's either doing medical or if he's reading. Alrighty, and is hearing anything else? If he's on the <laughs> on the battlefield or whatnot, he's good. Okay, his hearing. His hearing, on the other hand, uh, it's it's what we like to call so so selective selective hearing. Okay. <laughs> oh yes, it likes to work when it wants to. Other times, he'll act like he hasn't heard a thing, <laughs> and you could be screaming right next next to him. Well, excellent. I think one of my favorite stories um, of Tannin and Nolman on the Moonguard 
uh, server when we uh, served together in the Sons of the Fallen uh, was you were to uh, receive a kiss from uh, the lady of the house and uh, you closed your eyes and puckered your lips <laughs> and uh, Tannenus, Tannenus snuck in and, and uh, kissed kissed Nolman and Nolman chased him around the cathedral for quite a bit uh, threatening to uh, brain him with his cane it was uh, I think one of my favorite stories and I <laughs> still I still laugh about that to this day Oh, that was that was that was that was fun. I will not deny it. <laughs> I figured Norman Norman must have did good good that that day. But here I thought I'm getting an actual kiss from like the lady, and then I know here comes Tannis, my knight in shining armor, just boom and gone. <laughs> I don't know what pissed off Norman the most that he did that or that he just decided to ran afterwards, as if I wasn't as if Norman wasn't good. He wasn't good enough for tennis. <laughs> well, great. So, folks, what we're going to do now is we'll come back and we'll get some final thoughts from Nolman. All right, and we're back. So, Nolman, what we would like to do is allow you to talk to the World of Warcraft community out there and give us any final words of wisdom from the wise old dwarf. <laughs> well, to be honest, just have fun with WoW. Don't take it too ser seriously. Whatever may happen, remember, it's just a game, guys. If you take take things, anything in, in truth that is a game, too, ser too seriously, you just need to take a break because there's really... N n no need for it. Play the game, have fun, make some online buddies, and just relax. Enjoy. And that's an excellent point, sir. Yeah, don't allow uh, the RP world to affect your real world. And, you know, that's the thing that makes, I think, World of Warcraft different from other games is the people that play it. Uh, enjoy the community that we have. And really, like Noma says, reach out and make friends in the game. And you never know, you may find that uh, they will become friends in real life as well. So, Noma, thank you so much for uh, the talk tonight. It's been wonderful to get to know a little more about you and a little bit more about Noma. Thank you for having me, Mr. Turwinkle. It's been a blast. It really has. So, folks... We will see you back in the Hinterlands with some final thoughts on Nolman Greysteel. We'll see you there. And we made it safe and sound back to the Hinterlands. And boy, that was a lot of fun tonight, wasn't it, Turnwinkle? Affirmative. You bet. We had a lot of fun with our old friend Nolman. And by old, I definitely mean old. <laughs> 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 That's right. And, and we want to thank Norman for taking the time to sit down and talk with us tonight. Allow me to express my deepest thanks. You bet. Thank you, Norman. It was a wonderful talk. And again, we have always loved RPing with Norman. He really does an excellent job with his RP. So, folks, if you like Norman's RP or you like the episode, click that like button. If you'd like to comment on this episode or any of our previous episodes, do so below. Let us know how we're doing. And finally, if you would like to subscribe, we'd love to have you. So hit that subscription button. Well, Terwinkle, you did an excellent job, sir, as always. And I guess, Terwinkle, we will see you next time. It's been fun. It really has been fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>